why you always save a player. That's this is absolutely the reason. I thought the Braves did the right thing. They let Rungi take a shot at winning it, and he hit the ball well. But now two outs and no one on. The Mets are waving their infield, their outfielders in. The whole Met team waving their outfielders in. Here's Rick Camp with a game on the line. Two outs and no one on base. And at least he took a good cut and fouled it off. Ernie, if he hits a home run to tie this game, <laughs> this game will be certified as absolutely the nuttiest in the history of baseball. Well, they could go to another pitcher, but in 18 innings, they've used just about everybody. No, the only three guys left are Bedrosian, Perez, and Zane Smith. There's a strike going to. So they've researched that and they figure that Camp is the best hitter of the right. three left. It'll be an 0 2 pitch. And he is at the deep left. He goes back. It is gone. Holy cow. Oh, my goodness. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. Rick Camp. Rick Camp. I don't believe it. Remember what I just said? If he gets a home run. That certifies this game as the wackiest, wildest, most improbable game in history. <laughs> On an 0-2 pitch, Rick Camp hit it over the left center field wall. I don't believe it. If you only knew on the Braves, we kid Rick Camp about his hitting more than anything. Ernie. Nobody can believe it. Camp makes it 11-11, his first major league homer. I mean, that is the most improbable act. Let's see it again, Ernie. We gotta look at this another 50 times. That goes heap, it's out of here. And it hit the football bleachers. I mean, if you told me that John Sterling's gonna run for president and win, that wouldn't be any more improbable. And I gotta tell you, that's improbable. Unbelievable.